Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Golazo promo is here, and there's a lot to discuss with all things new in FC24, but there's another story that we're following closely. A leak that there's an insane icon player SBC coming. It's going to be an SBC that so many people will be completing. But when will it drop? How much will it cost? And what else do we need to expect with this Golazo promo? We're going to talk about that today in this video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, it was a busy day yesterday of content on a promo Friday, like the promo Fridays almost always are. Let's go through yesterday's content as fast as we can and discuss it all. Starting off with the La Liga Player of the Month, the very much looked forward to Vinicius Jr. POTM SBC. It was 91 rated as expected. The price is also as expected coming in right around 1.2 million coins it is nine squads it seems a little expensive though for the boost that the card got it's not a bad card by any means five star four star a Vinny with a decent upgrade over his 90 rated in form he does have two playstyle pluses but he is missing trickster or trickster regular playstyle or trickster plus which we found yesterday on stream pretty funny that ea have just recently added a new skill move into the game that was based after vinnie jr that only players with trickster plus can do he can't even do his own skill move with trivella plus and quick step plus but the way that i've been comparing this to uh earlier sbcs in the year is it's kind of like an mbappe player of the month sbc if you've wanted a special version of vinnie in your team for a long time this is your chance to go out and craft it i mean it is very downvoted you can tell a lot of people are not liking this card because it's just not quite good enough for this stage of the game but it is vinicius jr so if you need him in your team because you're a madrid fan or you're Brazilian and you just want him in your squad, there is an SBC to go and get him. I think the better SBC from yesterday is the big Golazo Al Away Room, which I'm already halfway done with because you know what? I said this promo, I think really, or this SBC really sums up the promo and I wanted to be a part of it because I was like, you know what? I have not used this card all year. This is the first time Al Away Room has got a special card this year. You know, I was like, let's give this a shot. It's semi-craftable for the price, especially especially with all the fodder packs they dropped yesterday in objectives, the 84 times fives I was able to open gave me a really good head start on this SBC. And I love that about this, like 600, 700 K SBCs don't seem that expensive with the menu grind and craft and all the objectives and gameplay rewards that we have in this game. You can craft anything so much cheaper than what the actual SBC price is. But again, I think this SBC kind of sums up the promo. A card who hasn't had a special this year with a really good boost. Five-star skill moves boost, the finesse, and the rapid plus. He can play striker, right wing, center attack, and mid. A lot of strikers in the game are down because of this card and some of the new Golasso cards, heroes, and icons that were dropped. Um, other play styles that he has, he's got incisive, tiki taka, and quick step. Guys, if you're using this card, this is a guy you're throwing through balls to. You're trying to cut in and hit a finesse on his left foot on the right side, which he's perfectly set up for, or just trying to get in behind the defense with the rapid plus, right? It is just kind of maybe a nostalgic SBC to do as well because he had the cards last year and was so overpowered. But I have no problems with this SBC. I know he's got a better version on the market, which I know some people are like, Man, the, the market version has 99 pace, which is crazy. But this one's going to be pretty decent. And again, I just want to try out a fun new card. And I think that's what this promo is, is actually kind of doing a good job at giving us. So there's that SBC there. Let me know your comments and your thoughts on him down below in the description um, if you're doing him or if you're not. We also had some new upgrade SBCs yesterday. The refresh of the 83 plus team of the week, which is normal. They gave us an 80 plus triple upgrade which is fine. We'll take that. We like the 80 plus player pick as well, but that is there. And then we also had another flash challenge, which I've missed a couple of these already, or maybe I have not. Maybe it's not refreshing every couple hours. Looks like it's maybe refreshing once a day, uh, but this is fantastic. You get a rare Electrum players pack tradable, and I believe this is pretty easy to do as it's only 6k to do on footbin uh yeah another tradable pack sbc we love that that's the potential of packing one of these icons or heroes which like we expected are very packable from a tradable sbc to get yourself some coins so the sbc content yesterday solid let's go to objectives and talk about that there was a lot going on in objectives yesterday with four brand new objectives let's start off with the big one the cup 
Um, another cup, guys. Interesting. Two weeks in a row with very similar cups. This one, though, there is no game limit, and it is max chemistry. You actually still have the birthday cup. It's going away today, but you've got the Golazo Extravaganza Cup, Max Chemistry, Max Rating. You can't see it, it's behind the face cam, but it is 89. So we've gone from an 88 rated cup to an 89. So, you know, when the first cup came out a couple of weeks ago, it was like, oh my goodness, this cup's insane because we're using lower rated players that we haven't used in a long time. I hate to say it now, but it's kind of feeling slightly repetitive. I like the cup, I do. But if we keep going higher with the ratings, soon enough, we're just going to be using our main squads again, which is kind of what made those earlier cups, the last two, fun, was using those different players, players from earlier on in the year. But regardless, this cup is different because you have to do some specific tasks. I think this is cool. Some people might find it annoying. But instead of just playing the game, you have to score some long shots. You have to get volleys. You have to score some headers. And I think there's maybe even like a finesse shot. Yeah, eight goals, finesse shots, right? I kind of like this. There's some different challenges in there to make you play the game a little bit different, but they don't limit you on number of games you can play per day. And it's only win eight to get the XP, to get all the packs. And also from scoring 10 goals, you do get a hero crouch card, which that's going to be a fun usable card as well. And for completing the whole thing, you get an 87 times four. So that's a nice grind. It's out for two weeks as well. Like that is plenty of time to get that cup done. It's probably going to be here through the two weeks of this promo since it is a two week promo. And then besides that, we also have these two goal master and goal hunter um, objectives, which just basically through scoring goals and different types of goals, you can get yourself some really good packs. I have no complaints about this. Absolutely love it. And then Golazo Van Persie. This is the junior version, aka little bro Van Persie, right? You got some XP inside of here for a kind of fun looking Van Persie. You can actually do this and then use him in the cup since he's 89 rated. Finesse plus, technical plus, and five star skills. That just has the makings of a fun card, especially with those finesse plus requirements, maybe that are in the cup, get those finesse goals. That's a fun one. Not insane, but it's decent, right? It's, it's usable versions of icons and heroes that we have not really used this whole entire year. Now we have one Evo that was dropped yesterday as well. Um, and it's kind of a different one. Heroic Chronicles. You get one of the new little bro items from the Golasso promo and you put them into this and it basically gives them plus three pace, plus four passing and plus four physical. That's it. It's very few games, play three, win three, win two. So it's easy to get done, but it kind of just takes your already just okay cards and it makes them a little bit more meta with the stats that they already have. I have to wonder and say there could be a mini release coming out since we are missing a few of those players that we thought we were going to see uh, released yesterday in the promo team. Um, we're missing them right now. So there might be a mini release and more cards might fit into this, but do not try to save this for team two because you have to put somebody in it before next Friday. Dempsey, Colaire, Francescoli, Berbatov, and Crouch are the only five players that fit into it right now. Also watch out for maybe another SBC player that could come out during the week. We almost thought that Alo Wayman was going to fit into this, but unfortunately his pace is above 90, so he doesn't fit so that was the evo but there's more evos to come guys and we'll talk about that pretty soon let's talk about the players that are in packs which actually i just uh, successfully traded with a couple of these cards specifically jabi alonzo guys these cards are so packable it is crazy the amount of supply for these cards on the market is nuts jabi alonzo came out into the game yesterday he was like a million coins 1.5 million he sold that in the first hour he just was down all the way at 650,000 coins where i picked up two and i saw the price go up so much but knowing how much supply a lot of these cards have i sold 800k he's actually still going he's like 840,000 coins right crazy crazy rise this promo team though again we were just astounded yesterday as we saw these cards hit the market with how cheap they were and how much supply that there was. And it just, it's not because EA dropped a whole bunch of crazy packs that people were opening that were tradable. It's literally because the pack supply for these cards is up. If you go and look at the percentages in the store, the supply for these is is genuinely way higher than even some of like other promos that we've had recently. Um, the middle tier cards, even the top tier cards, seemingly pretty packable. Charlton has pages of supply. He was just down at 2.3. He's rising up a little bit. And all these cards are like actually semi-affordable. Like Charlton being 2 mil, that's not that bad comparatively to some of the other promos we've had. He's like a top three promo card in this game. 
in other promos, a top three promo card would still be like four or five million coins. So I like that the pack weight on these cards, as expected, is pretty high. But it is also a little bit weird because there's not that many cards in packs. That's one thing that's a little interesting about this. It's a small team of players, um, but it is impacting the market, guys. A lot of icons, kind of as we talked about earlier in the week, people are seeing the prices of these and they're selling some cards from their teams, especially the strikers. I think the three most hype cards in this team that were dropped are um, Berbatov, this striker card. Everybody wants to try him out. This guy's price has been going everywhere. And again, it's a little annoying to search them on the market. I will I will give you guys a tip, right? So you've got big bro Berbatov, who's 310,000 coins, and you've got the little bro that's always in the way. Like for him right now, since he's above the minimum, so little bro Berbatov has a minimum price of 11K and a max price of 290. So to find him on the market, you can search with a minimum by now of 291. That will remove all the little bros and it'll only show you the big bro. This works right now because he's above 290. Once Berbatov drops below uh, 290K, it won't be as easy to search. But that's how you can search for Colaire as well, just to give you a little insight on that. Uh, but this card is one of the most hyped up ones from the promo yesterday. Five star skills, four star weak foot, finally a, a really usable meta version of Berbatov. Again, kind of like Alawayrin, Jabi Alonso, really boosted, usable card. Prince, Colaire, Francescoli. There's so many usable cards in this promo. But again, back to the strikers. It's Berbatov, it's Alawayrin, and um, I would even say like Francescoli and, and Prince. They are making strikers drop a lot. Like Benzema, Winter Wildcard, Winter Wildcards, Ronaldo, Benzema, Foot Birthday. Yesterday dropped a ton. I actually had invested in this Ronaldo, if some of you guys remember. I bought him for 770 I sold him at uh, 770 I took the cash because I knew he was going to drop lower as a lot of strikers were doing just that. Um, and it's because I think people are going and doing the Alawayrin and they're seeing these SBCs and they want to try out these cards, which I don't blame people for wanting to try these. They are, they're nice. They're usable. They're fun. They're different. It's not an insane promo in terms of like, oh my goodness, crazy. But that's not what we expected, I think, right? We expect it to be a little bit kind of less than foot birthday in terms of the hype. Um, but it's still cool and it's still fun. Now, going to the store, there was one crazy store pack yesterday. And I actually have a screenshot from the stream. I opened this pack. I don't, I've got, guys, I've opened two store packs in the past two weeks, which is way not normal for me. I've spent uh, literally now um, a million coins on two store packs. Now, they weren't both really worth it, but this is the pack. It's kind of hard to see. It's the Golasso Foundations pack. It's 330,000 coins. If you've got it, if there's ever a time where you're going to full send it, like if you have over, if that 330K is like 10%, so if you've got 3 million or above, maybe it's worth sending it. If you know what you're doing and you're trading right now and you're motivated to make some coins back, you could send it. But that pack was giving out a abnormally high number of prints who I packed out of it yesterday. Her card looks pretty solid, but also pretty cheap. But it since it's basically a pack that gives you those players with 80 shooting or above, you get a ton of high rated fodder from it. I packed Holland. I think uh, Benzema was in the pack as well for me. Maybe not Benzema, but so many higher rated players was in it. That pack is actually pretty tempting for a store pack, uh, but there are some other store packs that are very not good. But I just wanted to point that one out because if you're going to do it, I think that one's actually worth the risk because you could get multiple promo cards as we saw yesterday on stream. Many people get. Um, now also taking a look at this team, moving through things, trying to keep things moving. We're missing a few players, right? Where's Rafa Marquez? Where's JJ Alcocha? They were leaked. Where are they at? They could very easily be in a mini release, which could come out today on Saturday, could come out tomorrow on Sunday. Or same thing with like RVP, right? Robin Van Persie has got the objective card. He's probably going to have a big bro card that'll come in the game at some point in packs. Could be most likely a mini release. Akocha or Marquez could also be in team two. So watch out for that, I would say. And then one thing from just to wrap this all up from talking about the Golasso promo, one thing we noticed yesterday from the EA's webpage is that um, they said something about Golasso themed objectives and evolutions create defining moments of your own with several evolutions themed around helping you score the spectacular as well as objectives that will reward you when you do. So I'm guessing the objectives are what we had already seen dropped with all those like goal scoring objectives. But this sounds like several evolutions themed around helping you score the spectacular. Maybe acrobatic playstyle pluses, maybe power header, aerial, finesse, power shot, evos. 
who knows? Uh, but again, since this promo is related to heroes and icons, are the Evos only going to be related to heroes and icons? Questions we're still a asking that we don't have the answers to. Now, this is what we're here for. This is what we're here to talk about, guys. Right now, let's transition into a leak yesterday that is even bigger than this whole promo itself, in my opinion. One of the most meta I, I would say this, a top three icon in the game in terms of meta and stats has been leaked to be coming as an SBC inside of this Golasso promo. Mia Ham. This is the tweet yesterday that sent her price down hundreds of thousands of coins and everybody's hype levels up. Ready to grind. Mia Ham is set to come as an SBC soon. And this is FIFA Trading Romania tweeting this out with the base Mia Ham version this is a huge leak guys because again ham nine right her card is almost the exact same as r9 not quite the same because r9 is just r9 but ham nine is is what she's called right because she is so so good in game a top icon in this game there is so much hype for this card the fact that it's coming potentially as an sbc is insane now the question is what version is going to be coming as the SBC. She, of course, has the Team of the Year version, which is 7 to 8 million coins and was 11 million coins just a couple of weeks ago. Guys, I think it's probably not going to be the Team of the Year version. It was leaked as the base version. I believe it is going to be the base because, I'll be honest, I think that's too expensive of a card. EA wouldn't want to drop that as an SBC at this time of the year. But the base version... Let's not get it twisted. This card was 3.8 million coins and has been above 3 million coins almost the entire year. 5 million coins in December. For Team of the Year, dropped down to 3 and then went back up to 3.8 for the last 3 or 4 months and is now down. She was 2.5 before, kind of, especially this leak came out, now down to 1.7. This is a crazy, crazy card. 5 star, 5 star, power shot plus, finesse, rapid, flare first touch, quick step, and relentless, and just different in game. I've not used her card this year but this is an SBC that I will 100% be doing and I think there's a couple reasons why EA are doing this recently this is kind of adding to the list of SBCs that EA are starting to place out there they're kind of just they're kind of just chucking them out recently right we've had the Roberto Carlos we've had the Ribery uh, in the last week of the birthday right we've had Socrates we've had kind of these really expensive but also juiced player SBCs some old icons some new ones they're kind of throwing these out there. How long is Ribery out for? 53 days. How long is Roberto Carlos still here? 47 days. These are SBCs that with Team of the Season right around the corner, throw me a ham into this mix as well. They're going to put in the icon section to allow us to put our fodder into leading up to Team of the Season and then also during Team of the Season. Players that even though they might only have one play style plus like Mia Ham, will still be 100% meta enough and usable at this later stage of the year because she's just so good in game. Now, here's what I was kind of hoping for, right? I was maybe hoping for this SBC to be like a Golazo version. If they were going to drop a Golazo version of Mia Ham, it would probably be, I mean... If they went lower rated than the 93, like a little cis version of Mia Ham, like a 91 or a 92, that would probably not be as hyped because then the stats would be lower. This is already a, a 1.7 million coin card and people would be like, why are we doing that at this time of the year? I totally get that. But I think EA also does not want to release the 95. So I think a Golazo version with a dynamic image would be sick. But I think we're going to end up getting this base version, guys. That's just my thoughts. Again, who knows? Uh, we just know this SBC is going to be coming. Now, the question is when and can we invest? Um, can we invest? Man, fodder is just in the freaking mud. Yesterday, it went up a little bit, um, but not much. If there's going to be an investment for this, it's 90s or 91 rated, guys. To be completely honest, there's going to be 90 or 91 rated. Maybe we see the first 91 rated squad of the year inside of Mia Ham. Who knows? But plenty of 90 rated squads, I would imagine, like probably two squads. If she's going to be 1.7 mil, I think the SBC is not going to be as cheap as her card is on the market. Since her card has been above 3 million coins for so long this year, this SBC might come out and look really crazy expensive. And it honestly might be priced at 2 million coins plus when it first drops. I, I'm just going to prepare you guys for that and myself because I think it's going to be overpriced based off of what her market price is just because of the level of the icon that she is. EA knows so many people are going to want to use this card and get this card, and she's been so expensive throughout so much of the year. I think it's going to be expensive. Um, but dropping either today or tomorrow or maybe even sometime in the next couple of days, 
is probably going to be this base version. So that's the leak right here. That's massive. Like that's huge. I want to do Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm is a legendary player, especially for me being in the USA. That's going to be a card that I will chip away and craft at with fodder. Of course, all the objective packs, the packs from rewards, rivals rewards and all that is going to make it a little bit easier. And yeah, if you want to try to invest for this, I would just say try to get some 90s and 91s and get that ready in your club. I mean, there's even ha a halfway shout to maybe pick up a Prinz. I don't know how much lower Prinz is going to go because she is the cheapest 94 rated card in the game at 100,000 coins. And you've got 93s at 80k, but 94 is at 103k. That's that's going to be very helpful for an SBC. I mean, for a 90 rated squad, that might actually take some cost down for how high rated that is. So watch her price over the next couple of days before Ham comes out. That could be an interesting card that maybe moves up a bit once that SBC drops. We will just have to see. So other content to look forward to with this promo Continuing on today with Golazo, it's kind of weird, right? The last two weeks, we've had SBCs laid out for us day by day. We know what's coming. Today, we don't. A little bit of a surprise factor. No complaints about that, you know, but we'll, we'll think ahead to some things we could see today. First thing is probably going to get a new upgrade pack SBC. The 84 times 5 has been our trusty repeatable upgrade pack for the last week. I would be 100% okay if this comes back. I like the 84.5. If it's the 83.10, I'm good with that as well. If it's the 82 times 20, no thanks. Give me an 84.5 or an 83 times 10. Or is this the day where EA stops keeping the SBC pack, kind of the upgrade pack going, the good quality upgrade pack that requires an inform or like an 82, 83 rated squad? I hope they don't stop it, but guys, we've had really good content for the Fantasy FC and Ultimate Birthday. Maybe this is where it starts to tone down a little bit. I'm just preparing us again for something like that today that could happen as well. I hope it comes back, but I'm just saying that it potentially might not. If it does not, informs are going to drop. I think informs are down, and actually, we might be able to tell what's coming out today based on the price of informs. Um, okay, informs informs are doing good. 30K, all right, so they are definitely up a little bit. They were like 27 yesterday. So there must be um, either the Encore Icon or Encore Hero Pack is coming back today. We mentioned those in yesterday's video. Those were not dropped yesterday. Um, either that's coming back, maybe the 83 times 10 is coming back or both. Uh, there's potential for all those SBCs to come out and that would definitely bring some hype to the menu and the crafting scenario in here. Although I'll be completely honest, I would rather craft player SBCs right now then put fodder into that Encore icon that was the cheap one that we had like two weeks ago, right? Where it was just a couple low rated squads and it was like 100K for an icon pack, but it included base cards in it. So that one was cool because it was cheap, but man, the pulls from that were absolutely to, uh, woeful so if all of those come out or even a couple of those informs could keep going up but i'm not investing in informs because there is a decent amount of risk i think there and i don't have leaks i'm just going based off what i see on the market so those could go to 20k today those could go to 35 to 40k depending on what SBCs we get. Now, there is Evos on the horizon. We just saw it on the EA webpage. Here's another tweet from Foot Police saying that a 99 shooting challenge evolution is set to come to Ultimate Team soon. Imagine getting somebody to 99 shooting on this game. I would be there for that. I don't know how expensive it's going to be. Probably a paid Evo. I don't know if it's going to be only icons or heroes. We'll have to see, but that's something that I have some interest in. And I he has not posted any of like what position it's going to be, but I'm sure he knows um, since he has the leaks and stuff like that. He knows what Evo it's going to be. So definitely get ready for some evolutions to be at least interesting. 99 shooting, like that sounds very intriguing. So that could definitely make the market move if it's really good value or if it's just one that a lot of people want to go and do. And then today on Saturday as well, watch out for store packs. Um, they dropped one pretty big store pack and they're continuing to run the lightning rounds like crazy. Um, even it's late night right now. They're still running an 85 times 7 a Super 86 pack. And then they've still got a lot of promo packs in the store here. That 150K pack, the 500K premium Golazo. But there still is a couple more guaranteed Golazo packs. They're going to up the ante. Maybe a 700K pack, 750K pack today. Would not be surprised if we do see one of those. And yeah, other than that, it is great to have club football back again today. I'm so excited to watch Spurs versus Luton, which this is the game. If you're rooting for a Pedro Porro upgrade or if you're rooting for a Timo Werner upgrade this weekend as well, some of the last fantasy matches are on the line. Even for a card like Usman Dembele, 
it's all or nothing. He's got no upgrades. He's got one game today to potentially, either today or tomorrow, to get all four upgrades for his card and go to a 95. That would be bananas if he did. So watch the market. But one thing I will say, apart from Fantasy FC cards, the market is, it's not in great shape. I'll be honest. It's not crashing, but it's not in great shape because I think the fun and new aspect of these Golasso cards has definitely got people interested in trying them out. And in turn, they are selling some older promo cards and some older icons because of that. Like Foden dropped a little bit yesterday. Most of the out of packs cards are doing fine. They're really good to trade with. Uh, but some foot birthdays and strikers like Alex Morgan dropped over 100,000 coins. She is down bad. This son is under 2 million coins. Benzema, who I was actually just trading with 700k who listed that i literally just sold a benzema at 760,000 coins i'm gonna have to go look at that because that's pretty low strikers and attackers in general are down a lot on this game right now because of the spcs and the players that have come out so that's something to kind of keep interest in oh 730 man that's unlucky bro i had one more benzema that i was trying to sell at 760 and it didn't sell. But we'll try to get that sale as these prices continue to fluctuate and move around. Same thing with like the Ronaldo. I might look to buy Ronaldo again if he's like 700k flat. I'm just saying watch out for some more drops on the market as this promo um, you know, brings out more content and more SBCs. If there's big content today, that could make prices dip down a little bit more too. But the fluctuations are there. If you want to trade out of pack special cards fluctuations, they are crazy. These cards move a lot. Jota dropped as a striker yesterday. I was able to pick one up on bid for 420K and sold it for 470. Look at this drop from 580 all the way down to here. Bought at 420, sold at 470. It's those sort of flips and fluctuations that if you time it out right, you can still make some really good coins. But be careful with the Golazo card today because they're very packable. And I think they might go up a little bit this morning, but then I think they go down later on. So that's the video today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nate's with the Count. Peace.